Okay, so going for a longer game, 45, 10. Just capturing in the center and blocking. So what's the learning for today? Well, I think the learning is still sticking with the creative thinking and logical thinking based on the current games that I've played recently. Because I think secretly I'm still letting the creative side take over and it's messing with my logical moves. Okay, so castle, keeping that safe. Instantly I'm just thinking just get these get the bishop out attacking the knight. He's gonna have this lovely outpost thing here. He's gonna have that anyway, isn't it? So let's bring the knight out first. He's wanting to get castle themselves, so we could jump into this spot here attacking the knight. I'm going to attack the knight because we still have the pin through onto the king, but it can get messy. So you can still end up losing out per se, but we'll see. I think they're going to put, uh, attack the bishop here, but I don't want to over creative it. The simple fact is we have the pin through here, but I want to make it as meaty as possible. Queen's protected now, so we could still take the knight. There's no issues in the take with the pawn. Then we have to bring the bishop back, I suppose. Then at this point here, this is where he locks down with the knight, but I suppose we could push the pawn onto the knight. Don't have to take the knight at this moment. The queen is on our knight, but we still have to pin through with our bishop. So we could develop another piece, such as attacking this knight to get it out of the way. Does that sound reasonable? Sounds reasonable to me. Like I said, we don't want to rush this position. I might not even take the knight after all that. So I'm trying to logical that. Right, okay. So now we could take the knight here. Then that brings the bishop here. So the knight now can no longer come and jump in this spot. So this might be the occasion where we then just take the knight off the board. Then the pawn takes. We bring the bishop back attacking their bishop so then their bishop either exchanges or they move back to open up their rook so they'll be wanting to open the rook because the dark squared queen is targeting here so the long short long and short of it is it might be in their favor so we have to be careful do we want that position we don't have to take their bishop if we bring it back here And it's going to have this bishop, dark square bishop here. Do we want that? Hmm. Maybe we don't, you know, because, you know, we're giving them strength. We don't want to give them the strength. Hmm. We take his bishop takes, his bishop's here. We take, the pawn takes. Bishop comes back attacking the bishop. Bishop doesn't take, comes back. If we came there, his bishop's on our. It's on the knights. Okay, no, it's not. It's on the pawn. So if we brought our bishop back to attack his bishop, his bishop could take our pawn for free. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it takes takes knight takes pawn takes and then the bishop thinking it's clever coming back then the bishop takes here then we take his bishop his pawn takes and yeah so it's even shadier so do we just take straight off then now but we do have that issue of the knight coming here but we can push the pawn let's take the knight now let's bring the bishop back Don't forget to take the bishop if the knight moves to his lovely square. 
takes with the bishop okay so let's take with the queen so that was not in the calculation and I don't think I'm taking here for some strange reason although I still got this but we do have our knight here which is home alone at the minute I'm going to bring it here so we can attack the queen maybe yeah obviously the bishop is going to drop here so the knight has dropped so we could take the bishop could take the bishop gives his queen a little bit of va va voom we would have to bring our queen here because his queen is going to be looking to come here then they'll be attacking the pawn interesting situation like I said we could always bring it back here but his bishop's just going to drop there anyway so his bishop's going to drop here push on to his knight bishop still takes anyway doesn't care about that takes the bishop takes queen takes no, maybe the queen doesn't take because the queen will get taken. Let's attack the queen. Bishop here. Like I get, we could take. And his queen is stuck in the middle. Is there a different picture now? Mm. Is it better to take pushing onto the knight here? Bishop still takes, pawn takes. Let's push on to the knight here. I think he's going to ignore that. His bishop's just going to take. Yeah, like we said. So, could take with the pawn or take with the queen. Looking to um, exchange the queens off. What's his knight thinking it's doing? It's going to have to go back up here, isn't it? Okay, so it's gone up there. It's lucky that it's got this pawn support. And our rook was ready to take that off the board. Okay, so I need to probably start with it. Yeah, getting the knight across. Somehow. Okay, it's attacking unprotected pawn got a picture of these pawns just shooting down but I don't know if I need to worry too much about that it's going to stop the knight from jumping there although is that knight causing too much trouble going there is it just jumping there just to jump there there's nothing really meaty for it is there so I could go with the four pawn situation attack 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 I'm actually going to do the box shape Again, this troublesome knight coming to this square here. So bonuses we have got castled. It's just there's nothing. Nice one. Okay, so do we take with the knight? Does the knight give us more? Knight gives us more in terms of being able to move around. So I'm going to take with the knight, just with the potential of that type of situation. It's not much. Um, well, that potential has gone. <laughs> okay, so we could bring the rook here facing off the king, the queen. But then his pawn takes our queen anyway. So we're going to have a massive isolated pawn in the center of the board. So we're going to go for it. Because he hasn't got castled yet. So he's not linked his rooks up just yet. So I'm thinking they're probably behind the tempo. In terms of being able to do some serious damage to us. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we do have this type of thing. With a little bit of a check on his king. It's 
queen's down here. It looks by itself. It doesn't look like there's going to be any trouble for us at the moment. Knight's also got here as well, but then his rook just comes across. So put the check on the king. I don't, that was a looked like a crazy queen move, but you know, I've, I'm always falling foul of these things. I've tried not to over creative that move that they've just made there. It's just it doesn't look like it's got any support with it. I'm just thinking that how does the knight get down? The knight look the only one that's gonna support it is the knight. Why is he coming this way? So his rook's blocked in at the moment now. So we could challenge the rook, but his queen is on that diagonal at the moment. Could put a check on, but we don't have any support with any pieces. Could challenge the queen. Could bring it back down again to put another check on the king. <laughs> That'd be a bit annoying, wouldn't it? Rook is on a dark square. If this queen wasn't here though, we could do something. Um, so if we look to put pressure onto the queen here, then maybe we could get a space here with the, and let, get a check on the rook and the king at the same time. I don't think there's anywhere safe for the queen to come back on here. Unless he goes here to attack our knight. But in which case the queen will be supporting with the check on the king. Oh yeah, it's got a small gap here. It's attacking the knight. So we can't get that. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, can't even put a check on here because he just comes down and takes the rook. Okay. Right, so it's on the knight. Can't bring the knight here because he's got a two on one. Doesn't look like we're getting in to do that attack. If we bring the rook here to defend the knight, also with sights or potentially coming here if the knight moves. And what's his threat? Sneaking in here. Again with this knight, but the pawn can take. Maybe this knight here. Okay, just bring this rook here for now. Supporting the knight. So potentially kind of owning two of the open files. Oh, he's gone straight there. Damn. We do have a kind of sacrifice thing, but it's, I don't think there's much to that pawn just takes doesn't it but if the pawn takes the rook takes the rook if the queen takes then we take the rook so I don't think I'm overthinking that it's a check on the king it's a check on the king he has taken so we can now go with a he's got a bit of space hasn't he go with the check and oh he's got a, he's got an escape route here <laughs> we go there he just drops down into this little square and then he's got some sort of repetitive hasn't he uh, do, 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 do. Oh, we'll just go and take his rook off the board. Go and take his rook off the board. His queen's going to be chomping to come down here. We can bring our rook down to defend. And this is the repetitive thing here I'm talking about. Then we can just move it to the side. Then does his knight have the magical attack of some sort? Just take the rook off the board. He's down. It's going for the repetitive, like we said. So if we come here now, let me just think it through. We've got 38 minutes here. If we come across, does he, he can't get my king from there. So 
It's this knight. Don't want him to get a check on me. I don't think there is a check, so I'm just going to move the king across. Oh, the knight can't move at the minute because they've got the check, the pin through with the rook. So it's coming down for our rook, expected. I could just play it safe and just move, or put the check on the king with the... I don't want to waste the check though. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. He can't move anywhere. What am I on about? If I go here, then his king's... Trapped. Oh, don't be silly. If I go there, his knight will just take me. <sighs> hmm. I don't like the escape route he's got. But if I went like that, Rook takes the knight with a check. If his king takes, then I can come here with my queen with a check on his king and also on the queen. So then I'd be up a rook, wouldn't I? But he might not do that. He might take with the pawn. And if he takes with the pawn, then we can condense it. So if we go there and he doesn't take with the queen, we take king, he takes with the pawn. Bring the queen here, his king moves down. We can move across, start harassing his king a little bit. His king maybe moves there, maybe the rook comes here. <sighs> I think it's that. I'm taking with the rook with a check. He takes with the pawn, so now we do have actually, it could change it, but then his king just moves to the side. I'm going to follow what we said at the minute, and then come here. Do I, don't rush it, don't rush it. And come there. Escapes down. and we can take the pawn and it looks like a checkmater now that was very interesting very interesting indeed i'm gonna have a look at the analysis see how where the dips are as we like to check back again forgot the arrows on okay let's have a look so that's a nice long play game we do like the long play games let's have a look at the situation so pushed through captured just looking at any dips and see seeing if we can have a discussion with the engine Castle, that's all pretty okay. Brought the knight up, yeah. Looking to put pressure on that knight, but we didn't want to over it. Oh, it's going for a small pawn push onto the bishop, and it's got 50 million pieces on there. It's got the knight, it's got the bishop. Well, it's changed its mind now, right? Okay. So we wanted to develop more pieces rather than taking the knight off the board so it's not really happy with that it's saying that black is more in more favor it looks like it's back to evenish so we captured does not like that yeah look at that doesn't like that move at all same bring the bishop back for a discover check on the queen interesting that didn't even come into my role of it hmm okay right, so it doesn't like that type of maneuver oh black is out and out winning look at that i knew something didn't feel right with it i thought i, I know there's something that you can do with this type of position and i i just obviously haven't played my pieces in the right places hmm 
Yeah, could get in the night, move to there. I know I didn't want to take the night, but yeah. Oh, does not like that move. Okay, I mean, I didn't really see anything majorly wrong at this stage, even though it's showing that black was in favour. But maybe black shouldn't have done that move. It was this knight move that would have whooped us. This knight move because he would have come here, wouldn't he? Right, so it's saying then go here, but then takes takes oh it's a move order thing big style oh yeah that doesn't look good does it wow okay right right definitely so we need to be a little bit more stealthy with our moves too much tension i think there really too much uh yeah too cagey and messing up the move order but the opponent didn't make the correct move so uh, we're back in the game a little bit here. So bringing the bishop back, we're looking to try and go for the um, queen. So it's kind of equalising the situation a little bit now. And we push on to the knight. Doesn't really like that too much, but it's not argue, arguing too much. Move the king out of the way. And we start jostling the knight. Just not happy with that. So black's not doing too bad at all. I think it's because we're jostling for some type of position that really we didn't quite have. But I wasn't too concerned for me. And for me, I felt really confident. Um, even in the confusing start of the game, you know, building into the middle game, uh, I still felt really good. Even though the computer's showing, yes, there was a bit of a problem if the opponent had played the correct moves. Which they didn't because they're not a computer, the human. So this was the moment where I didn't know what this queen move was and the if I, the computer saying the same thing it's going what not too sure what that was so we actually went for a check on the king which appears to equalize it so looks like we should have gone for a dead square which is here looking for a blocking off it's also attacking this pawn I suppose hmm uh, well no I think I still would go with this uh, move here. Uh, so they condense themselves in. And doesn't like our rook move. It's saying it's more equal. Where's it saying put the queen? Yeah, so they put it to the right spot. And that's saying bring our queen all the way back down. I don't know. When things are forward, it's so hard to bring things back. And it doesn't like our rook move. It's saying we're losing again. Then we did spot nice knight move and at this point here it's um more or less kind of over it's plus seven here but did we play it correctly that's the question okay so they did take and captured and then took the rook queens down we can easily block like we said we were scared of a repetition type thing with the queen but on looking it doesn't look like there was anything that they could do there and then the queen comes down oh it doesn't even mention the rook take in the night why what mm, my days that's where we were thinking of going but oh the knight can't take it can it because it's because of the rook check the rook's got the knight pinned so it would have been over <laughs> oh my god man oh i'm kicking myself oh dear me so we went for a fancy rook take thing that we didn't really need to well it's got a check on the king so something has to be done and we could have gone for the bishop thing the queen moved to the this position again oh my life okay so then we squeezed in and then that was checkmate oh unbelievable right that was a really nice game lots lots of learning in that